It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. But I said love, pleasant, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever the item are tuning in from right and now. I want to um, greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I the first, Empress Men in the first, one more day above ground. And I want to say, Holy Manuel Lai, King Celestia, Ja, Rastafari. Warm welcome, beautiful viewers and subscribers. We give thanks to the item taking the time out today. Zine and you see, today, today we have a special guest on the program today. Zine and is a virgin where I come across on the platform here. Zane and him, him is a virgin will leave a couple comments on the platform and one of the last comments where the virgin leave on the platform it kinda it, it draw eye attention. Zane, it draw eye attention that you know I have to reach out to the virgin. It's the last year I know. And is Rasta Records that made a comment on the platform, Zane, and he mentioned Akibeka at the end of the reasoning, and believe you me, him did mention a whole upon name before that. Him did mention a whole upon name before that, but it's so interesting that at the end of all of that, Akibeka Van Benjamin was at the end of the Virgin essay. Zane. Now, without no further delay, I want to introduce Rast Rasta Record to the Mindset program. Yes, I just start. <laughs> Greetings in the name of the Imperial Majesty and Prophet the first Empress Menen for the Trinity. One welcome. Yeah, I just uh, give thanks to welcome I, brother. That's the far I know. Yeah, man. Great, great, great. And if you have the hype on the platform here, my lad, as me just show the people them, say, boy, we are really draw high attention and, you know, if you really have the eye here today, you know, it's a great honor for, you know, have the hype on the platform. A man who work with Van, but me I go make the eye talk about all of that because it's your space to talk about that. See? Um the comment where the eye did leave pan 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 the platform. You, you, you remember you remember the comment? Yes, brother. I made more than one. <laughs> What why you see a guan why the, the because as I say you mentioned a whole upon name Zane in, in, in other reasoning but at the end of it um you you, you mentioned Van Benjamin Zane we are gonna get into Van later on Zane but what 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 really spur you to leave that comment there usually I ain't I don't really say nothing too much. You know what I say? You know? What, what leads me to leave that comment there is because that time has come now. You know what I say? For, for I voice I opinion as a warrior were born in the house of this thing at the same way where they call me reggae music, which transcends this message about Alice Slashia to each and every human being. You know what I say? Mm -hmm. So. Being born in the house, they know, you know what I say, 
this is not no yesterday thing or no 10 years thing. You know, me I say, me a 45 year old this year. Bonafide. I sing right. music and I produce music for me a 16 year old. So do the maths. What if I hear is that? You feel me, I say? Yes, sir. But another house of Black you who are Ducky Simpson of Black you who are my uncle, Ducky Simpson raised. Born and raised in a white house, Kingston, Jamaica. You know? White house being a place where being born at my time, about 1977. So my born into come see my uncle I sing music and get to see the mighty diamonds and the wailing souls and uh, Michael Rose, the Junior, the Black Uhuru, name which any name you want to call, because King Jammy Studio, they're in my community, which is one of the legendary studio, one of the real legendary studio of Jamaica. Before King Jammy's, there was King Tubby's. See it. You know what I say? I know King Tubby's studio been in there before and all of them things there, but I don't remember meeting King Tubby's as a child. I have a vivid memory, I can't remember everybody with me having the opportunity to be in Ducky Simpson's nephew. A lot yeah. of people think I'm Ducky Simpson's son, but I'm Ducky Simpson's nephew. Understand? I'm oldest nephew to him sister. You tell me I'm four nephew. Understand I'm the oldest one. I have one sister. So my uncle and my mother raised me in a white house and we get the pleasure of enjoying for Raising amongst rasses when youths free the rasters and people that tell them children to rasta a black old man and all them. The same way. See Me raise amongst all of these superstars in Jamaica. Raise amongst all of these ancient elders get the opportunity to see them, be amongst them. You know? Also because of King Jammy Studio. Every artist come to Waterhouse with a dance hall or reggae. Yeah. You know? So, being Ducky Simpson's nephew, in a Jamaica, they have one little thing now where Jamaica have one thing where they have a reggae royalty now. These are the sons or daughters of musicians, producers, and them thing there. Mm-hmm. Have them rain to carry on. It's like a relay. Like how you that say, big ship, Freddie McGregor. You that have genius, you know, Stephen McGregor. Chino McGregor, you feel me, I say? Yeah, man. The thing go on, like how Bob Marley pit them, you know. I saw the thing in a Jamaica set among some musicians. See? Yes, far right, man. You're there, man. So that, that, that yeah, the so... reggae royalty, they know. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot of ones would have probably take that as an advantage where you know, them could have used to, to, to their advan- or to their benefit then. I don't think advantage are the right word. Um, to their benefit. Yeah. To the benefit. Yeah. To the benefit. To the benefit. We have to go to it directly. To the benefit. Now, you raise up and see your uncle as a musician now and I carry this message of Rastafari, you know. Them time that's when I show you, it, it's exciting as a little youth, see them money. I love just so much. Every turn you turn, you know, you can't see a man without red, gold, and green or a Rastafari t shirt or a badge or a button. You cannot. A height, gold, and green. Zane, you know the heights of saying Rastafari till it start drift more and more in a super in a superstar lifestyle. Because mm-hmm. remember, you know. In a, in a Jamaica, you have only for reggae musician, because we're going to say reggae musician, and we're going to say reggae artist. Yeah. But in a, the, in a the origin, me as a youth, we're born 77, come raised monks, enough for the ancient rasters, them same way, in a music, and no, so enough for them, man, the same way. Had a serious heights about calling up an Isla Slassie, I name before them become very famous and gone into the trap of superstardom. You couldn't catch them without that with Eileen. You couldn't catch them without the Empress Men and you couldn't catch them without the, the book and the order. The Ras Daniel. You know, the whole of them man there. Every man car, bike, everywhere you turn, you see Eileen Slash, picture, badge, images, t shirt, clothing. Me get for watch this thing, a shape shift from such thing. 
to leather pants and leather jacket and dangari and pepper seed and gold and super it up. Me watch, me watch the cookie go in and me come back and come see the cookie in the oven, you know, but me get to watch it come out of the oven and see where it a transcend car before my uncle get superstar in a reggae. A Bob Marley had a superstar then, the heavy weight of reggae in the earth working for Chris, Chris, Chris Blackwell of Island Records. Zin and my uncle now come being black you the same way come there and I work and I do him thing till him book up in the island to see him way and end up become the Grammy first Grammy winning in a reggae. Zin Virgin, first Grammy winning group in a Jamaica. When history record back, back record set Ducky Simpson. Black Yuhuru, Michael Rose, Juma Jones is the first Grammy winning reggae group in the entire earth. This Grammy where every man I fight over. Half of them man yeah, we have fight over this Grammy and, and, and them thing yeah. Them, them, them never been where Black Yuhuru been. Them never sell the amount of records where Black Yuhuru sell. They're still not popular in the household, the majority of household homes throughout the earth. No matter how big a certain dance hall artist is in a, the Jamaica or the world, they are not popular amongst the majority of the people of the earth. The people choose the message that come from reggae, which they mix up with the dance hall same way. You know, I come see this one and I create the word reggae. You know? And then I create the word dance hall. I come born the earth, come see them and yeah, I brand them thing at, to the level I you know to them start called the trap dance hall. Because the thing will forever be changing. Nothing no permanent. The only thing we're permanent is the myth the Rasta carry. So, all right. Yemoa, Yemoa ask the eye. Because um, it's it good that the eye are even from the bloodline of the first um, reggae Rastafari group to win um, Grammy. What do you think about the, this year? Because... <laughs> Everybody I make up a whole panize as as the I say. What, what you think about the, the winners of this year? Do you think they're of the caliber of that time of Black Euro for win Grammy now? No, they're not interested. It's never that caliber. Chris Blackwell himself of Island Records, the number one top distributor. And creator of the highest farm, big, of the biggest heavyweight of Bob Marley and many others, would have picked up and sold. Chris not interested in another reggae music since Black Horror and Bob Marley. Nobody. Do your research. Ireland may have signed a couple of artists, but Chris himself as the boss haven't been interested in nobody in a reggae since Black Horror mashup. Can't tell you that. Since Black Horror mashup, Chris Black will interested in nobody. I look how much powerful heavyweight come. Look how much powerful message come after Black Crow, same way, and before Black Crow, too. See? So, at, at my experience, I'm going to show you something, and more I listen to me carefully and hear this straight, straight, straight. When time it comes to Jamaica and the house of Rastafari, I represent Emperor Isla Selassie, the first, and Empress Menin. I don't represent no house. I represent Isla Selassie, the first, Empress Menin. I pray to the two of them equally as the Almighty, the power of the Trinity, because that is the instruction given unto I and I as a warrior. See? So, growing up now, as I may show you, being and seeing and knowing enough things where enough you don't get to see enough, get to you, don't get to know them things unless you are a part of the reggae royal train of family of races that's been touring from the 80s with big names when 20 and 30,000 people used to come out into stadiums to watch these races call upon the name of the Almighty. 20 and 30,000 people have come out. There wasn't no bag of any other race of reggae bands. Okay? It was the Kush race of people that chant out the reggae and knock down the walls of Babylon with the sounds of redemption. You understand? Yeah. No. When you come to the Grammy thing, like me, I show you, me not have no problem with the world singing and chanting to Isla Selassie at the first. The whole world forgot Bill Tabernacle and drums, and every house around here, and every human being around here, every tribe, every race, every creed around here forgot pray to His Majesty. 
do alert. Bow down and pray to the Kush King and the Kush Queen. Your irator. Zin, the true and living Jah. Where this look of Jamaica, yeah. the look of rock, the whole big world. Jamaica, ah, I want a smallest island like Caribbean, same way. And Jah choose this look of rock, yeah. this set of people, yeah. this tribe of people. Yeah. You know, the whole earth from them make it to come and utter out the sound of the true and living Jah. Everybody else living God, where is he? Show me his face, because that him have been a spirit and up here all this time. Jamaican people have the DNA and the bloodline of the origin of earth. If no man no one get to the real point around here, why we're going to talk about where, where this reggae come to. Mm -hmm. This reggae was chosen to deliver that message forward unto its people at one particular point. At one particular point, reggae was just straight reggae. Rasses chanting down Babylon. Scare was scare. The dance all was the dance all. The rude boys, them and them things. And then you had the rasses, them were a, a transcend from the wave of reggae. They are, these are waves, you know. These are sound. Word, sound, and power. Them man, yeah, in the earth, we are them a musician and entertainers that play with the word, sound, and power through this. Tightly a call reggae, which enough man better go try research and know who own the, this tightly a reggae call. Enough man in the earth is the queen's subject. Enough man in the earth is being counted after the queen's subject. So get to the Grammy. When you come on to them giving soldier the Grammy and them thing, them. that no bother me. Who Grammy belong to? True. A who Grammy be belong a, to? A soldier them it belong to, man. See, now for them people, them created, it belong to them. A soldier, them forget Why the reggae fraternity can't <laughs> go create them own reggae awards? Why who no go create on own reggae awards? Why who, why who no plantation people love for run up on the plantation on the outside of the yard and on the highways where go live in the slave master house? At the same Willilin syndrome I go on in this movement of reggae. So I could get to the point where it come on to Grammy. You know, Mr. My Uncle do the Grammy. You know, Mr. Ducky Simpson at Black Urdu with the Grammy? Use it, catch him door. The first Grammy will come in at Jamaica. Use for catch my uncle's bedroom door so when the wind blow, it not close him door. <laughs> I don't miss any man who want Grammy. Ducky Simpson use the Grammy, catch him door. Before Kanye was spit on Grammy and all them things there. Ducky Simpson, I first man in the world, me sure say, use a Grammy, catch him door. Till him son born and start ball to play with this thing at the door. I him son end up taking grammy man she up through it through the window. My uncle live in a two-story house. Then up in the mountain, live up in a stone hill where every mm -hmm. man where want to run go live for a thirty million dollar home. My band come see my uncle and make music. Till my uncle live up there. So them time they no man no live up, they no dance all artists no live up in a stony hill. The rest is them have earned Many, many, many things in the inheritance of calling and your name through this message of reggae. So you have a little thing we are going in a Jamaican music industry for many years where enough people overlook, don't know, and will not overstand unless they are a part of this fraternity from them time till now that is being created. Like how you have Vibes Cartel children them going through their father's legacy, following through the footsteps, Many of this been, is a chuckle down, it's a relay. So the reggae fraternity had its own children in a relay. But them same money now will come out of the zinc pan yard and the tenement yard of these ghettos, zine, that have gained riches and superstardom and fame up and chanting up on the words of Rastafari, because that is what makes the world attracted to Jamaica. It's not its white sand. It's not its fruits, it's not its trees or its landscape. It's the people. The people that is considered Rasta, whether they have locks or not. When they travel the world, people who find Jamaican people as Rasta tribe. The line of Judah people, them. Rastafari people, them. That's what they look at Jamaica as. Not even Ethiopia. People don't brand you with Isla Selassie like how they brand you with Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Nobody not tie Isla Selassie I with Ethiopia in the movement of the thing more than how them tie them with the Rastafari people, Jamaicans. 
whether you come from Trini, St. Lucia, or any other island, more time Europeans here, the first thing them think of Jamaica you come from, too, you have locks on your head. True. Most people mimic being Jamaica. Jamaica is the Mecca, Zine, and it is shared amongst all the tribe. It belongs to all of your children. Bob Marley, it's set out time out, you know. The marks, Bob Marley, when he feel like I've been to reggae, and he said, this thing here, I got to grow and get bigger and bigger until it find it rightful people. True. So all of these tribes, we are singing a chant reggae, respect the message what these original races suffered for and was using this vehicle for to carry such message of the Almighty in the highest spiritual form. Whether the ancient them feel or not, they must be respected the same way because even if they didn't practice what they preach, what they have delivered, others have took it up and hold it close to for them heart mm -hmm. and follow that fundamental of principle. So if you know why well, sing them words here now, you know, and then the next man take it and chant it and honor it and love it and polish it and respect it, you want cause that is your problem because you see, those who sit close to the Almighty shall know him not. I'm going to get to find out, say, my own country as Jamaica is a place. The people in there, so even though the, mother, the people they must shout out his majesty name, Jamaicans fight Haile Selassie more than every other tribe in the earth. Jamaicans fight against Haile Selassie more than white people to me. Judgment, ball. Because... The, 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 the average white man, when no Arasta youth is of intelligent, intellectual and intelligent and wise, will admit to you the facts. But if you're a pawn and a fool, it might just leave you in a your own ring of thoughts of where you view his imperial majesty as. Seen, Virgin? We now fight against no, no color. Our, our father, they don't show that it was about fighting against color. We destroy the whole earth. Because they are the minorities, not us. We are not the minority. Mm -hmm. So you see this Grammy thing here? Yeah? Grammy belong to that tribe they were this side say, they might give us an award for that thing they were we are saying. Can you just imagine these men started out giving these things to the man where I praise Eilis Selassie? Grammy started out to give to a man where I pray to Eilis Selassie with enough Jamaican people cause Rasta and laugh of a Rasta say we pray to a living man and this and that. Look what the white man have done. Created an award to give us. The white man been booking us to come and sing for him in his country. Even Muslim country now. Where you should, it should have been abominable. Zine, for us, we pray to a living man for coming to their country to deliver this message to their people. I wonder if them people realize we're in a war. We're in a war. Zine, we're in a spiritual war. Zine, so reggae was used as a vehicle for deliver the redemption song. Zine, matter to a man lifestyle, a perfect example. Many people say things about Bob Marley. But the message was delivered and fit for the time where Bob Marley and all of these rascals did that thing say. Zine, enough of them money you now move uptown and live uptown and have them families are living a lifestyle. Enough forget musicians picking them grow up eating food and breakfast, lunch and dinner every day. So of course. You, you, Drive me mad. So I can know the Grammy thing as a royalty now. It belongs to them people because Jamaican need to have for them own so, award for reggae. You know, if you wake a man give we award for our work that we have been done. Jammies. First point that Magali. The 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 Jamies. Jamaica never have an award named the Jamies. What happened to that? The Jamies, the Jamies Award, the Jamaicans most of the time interested in collecting money, not spending too much. And if them spend, they must spend on things where it is not of value to me most of the time. Most man in Jamaica was sing about Africa. Many races were sing about Africa. Them live Africa. All of what I talk about Africa all of this time. Who want to know how much, count how much Rasta man was chant about Africa for the last 50, 60 years? Who want to live Africa? Great question, that, you know. I mean, should how I, have, I, I should I not ask you that question there, you know, far right. <laughs> yeah. I don't no, no want to hear say you have land in Africa and you go to Africa. Who oh, live there and I tell people for return, they come and follow the example. I mm. want to know who live there, buy them by us there. 
you can't show off down in Africa. No process can't show off down in Africa. You can't show off a Jamaica and them 10 big house and them 10 BMW and everybody praise him and know say, yeah. And the artist said that, you know, and him that in Porsche, and him that in Benz. Down in Africa, one look at you to go dig up one piece of diamond out of one dirty, dirty place with more valuable than everything where you ever sell in a music. You lost in Africa. It is now that Europeans have turned their main stage with their own race, growing locks, singing reggae, playing it live music better because Jamaica play a play drum machine. Okay? So now the children of Ephraim practice the rhythm and I play the song. And them have most of them children on the stage. Them nobody want to Jamaica on them stage. So is it is them it not fear? Them. Is it fear to say? All of the was them. Is it fear to say far right? Where um, every day did I say that them are the best reggae band? It would is that a fear judgment of the Virgin for say? Based on what the so eyes the say. Mm. That win the Grammy. Me no, sir, them not the best reggae band. Ziggy Marley band no better than, I, 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 I mean, Soja band no better than Ziggy Marley band. We could say Soja better than Steve Marley band on a stage. Steve Marley is one of Jamaica's top producer in frequency and sounds to me. Hey. When him come across. I, I listen. I go listen, Chronics. Uh, one place in a London named um, something another house. Zane. And when I when I use the band start play, my general. And that was a long time I, I didn't go to any show. And the virgin there yeah. passed through the place, Cranix. And him come yeah. with um Dre Island. Zen. Yeah. And me never hear soldier play yet still. But I can say that when I hear Chronic's band play, that is a judgment ball band. That is a serious band. Now is 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 Soldier a better band than the Zinc Fence band and Chronics? The one of them in the same league. A them better in the band, league. A be yeah, one of them in the same league. A better band is a band where I carry the message seriously about Rastafari while delivering those sounds. More that's a Anybody chronics. can learn to play an instrument. A better band would be a band that is delivering reggae music, carrying the music and the redemption songs of Rastafari message like how it's been. Okay. We're not so, in the flip floppy. So what you say? Then? Them in a so, said league then. Not them. Said league. League of confusion for destroy, destroy the original order of this thing here. They are in the same league. Because Chronics, you have contradicted all of your talks. So Chronics is a is a good sounding band. Mm. But is Chronics a band that's carrying the faith and the message of Rastafari? No. Is Soja Ban that's carrying the faith and the message of Rastafari? Is it, 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 Isla Selassie is Soja's creator? We the Rasses, origin of reggae, pray to Isla Selassie the true and living God, the Almighty. We consider him the true and living Almighty. Isla Selassie the first Empress Men in the order, the irate of earth, the Alpha and the Omega. And this is what it was used for. No, we don't use it for shows. And sales and awards, creating abominable sounds and abominable act, playing on the minds of the people, using the name of the Almighty. I'm sorry for when you see hellfire. I'm sorry for when some man to purgatory. Because they are playing with the minds of the youths of the earth. The, the earth have giant forces with many of these races in our own country to turn the songs of redemption into entertainment. This message is not no entertainment. It has become entertainment. Chronics entered the game with this song, Celestia Federal, Rasta we are fight war spiritual. Here comes Chronics the general. Are you a general? And if you is a general, he's a general in the wrong army. Because now you have also 
come to denounce all of the work that all these races have done to join forces to, to fight against your own, to have acceptance amongst all of these band names where you call so you can survive on a stage because Jamaica youths are not listening to you anymore. Jamaica yes, youths is yes. not listening to you, Christ. We're not listening to the reggae revival, Ras, just dreads or whatever they be. We're not. Jamaican youths don't like these races. The real ghetto youths, them, the real authentic warriors, them, is don't have anything familiar or in common with, 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 with Chronix and Jesse Royal and them. And they, they are actors. I can't tell you, we can't point out part of them act right away immediately. Because this, this thing has been shape shifting, like me I tell you. It went from when time me grew up and I see the races them. A chant, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Black Oro, Burning Spear, all of the ancient them were a chant. You Mundell, all of them and they were come and a chant, Jacob and a come. At a point, even them was entertaining and using the words of His Majesty and the redemption songs to go entertain other tribes of the earth. But this is a serious message and a war, a king, a creator. This is a war in earth against good and evil going on ever since this earth has been created. Zine Bridging. So these racist things are coming and are coming and are coming and are coming. When Sizzler and, and, the, and the Bobo Shanties, me grew up and hear Bobo Shanty, I said, bro, me, me not grew up and hear Bobo Shanty, I sing and I preach. My recall and memory of seeing Bobos when me I grew up wearing turban and robe, I admire and could identify and know that's a Bobo. Because them man, they dress in a them royal priestly garment and them walk with them broom. I understand my uncle live uptown and when he live uptown at them big house, they are ceiling high. Everybody need broom for sweep out them yard. Mm-hmm. The Bobo Shanti was the broom maker that I sweep every man yard. Make your place clean. Brush out your cobweb out of your big eye ceiling up in your $30 million house. While holding a order out there in the east in St. Thomas, them money arise now. After Naya being man, them if I that them one brand themselves, which was the frontline singers of Jamaica. Naya Bingi and 12 tribe races, because them have different denominations in this thing and names, brother. So, Naya Bingi man them and 12 tribe man them was the first set of races them were again stardom and popularity in the earth. Mm-hmm. True, true. See? 12 tribes and Naya Bingi races. I tour the world, them are superstar. Everybody has sent for them. Every white man, every European has come for them. Everything I go on. With the message where them are called for is the Imperial Majesty name. Make them money come for them and all assign them. These tribes of people come sign them to record indeed. Chris Blackwell is the famous reggae producer, biggest company, biggest owner of reggae assets. Any asset where have any value in a reggae, Chris Blackwell is the owner of that. Nobody else. If Chris Blackwell was putting out reggae albums, None of those other artists would have won a Grammy if it wasn't under his label. Know that? Allah who are fight over reggae. Chris can pick up him phone and tell them anybody up in a that to give that man a it. What's if I him a produce that album? Chris wash him and from reggae artists. Cause enough musician, even me being a producer as a Rasta man, a Kush man. Enough musicians and reggae artists are some of the most ungrateful people they have ever come across in this movement, yeah? So, at the moment, when the Naya Bingi and 12 Tribe, man, them start turning a superstar, and one bag of different women are coming at the place, and different races are coming at the place, enough of the people them start to brand up, man, with locks as rent a dread. Because I will if a man in Jamaica start to grow lax, when I pray to Rastafari, but no say, yeah, you know, the rest of them are gain power, you know. White people are come amongst them and every man want a visa. Mm. Man want left off of the plantation, some of it in them had to return to Africa because of that the rest has been saying. But none of the rest of them now live there. Every man buy a big house and live at Stone Hill, Jacks Hill, Beverly Hills and them place there. Zine, brother. No man now leave Africa. If them go to them go to go be two women and build one close and left down there and come back. 
Africa big. Jamaica one penny. Africa a world. Zin brother. So me grow up and see them money a chant now as 12 tribe races was with us. Now you being races, even though Bobo shanty there. At the time now, the music I got shift. Reggae I got shift. Zin, in a sense now, from feet message and go get lock up in and, and style as dance because they don't want to have two different segments in Grammy. That would be too dominant. All right, have far a dance right. I pray thee. Ward, far and right. a regular word. Far right, I pray thee. Watch it now. Um, yeah. Just hold the point there. Right there, sir. Zane, hold the point there. Right there, sir, my lad. Zane, we are going forward after the rebound and pick up right upon the point there. See, my lad. See you in the next video. I just got the mindset.